Hi and welcome. My name's Ken and this is Ken Fisher Photography Training. Now today I'm going to be talking about something new in Photoshop and it's the new AI Remove tool. Now this is going to make removing stuff in Photoshop just a whole lot easier. Now there are many ways to remove objects from a photos in Photoshop. Content Aware Fill, Spot Healing, Clone Stamp Tool, they've been with us a long time. And on the whole, they work very well. All of these work by sampling the surrounding pixels and trying to fit these pixels over an object to create a seamless light repair. Now, although, as we know, it's not always seamless. Now, the new remove brush uses AI, artificial intelligence, to generate pixels to fill the area, even if those pixels they didn't exist in the original image. Now this makes it ideal to use for light retouching. Now it has to be said that the remove tool, although a vast improvement, doesn't always get it right, but it does get you much closer to perfection and only needing a small input from other tools and so saving you time. Okay, so how do we get access to the, the, this absolutely fantastic new tool? Well, for the time being, the Remove tool is only available in the public beta version of Photoshop. Now, it will be coming to Photoshop CC soon. Exactly when, I don't know. We'll just have to wait until Adobe considers it ready. But you can access it if you download and install the beta version. Now, to do that, you need to log on to your Creative Cloud. So here's the Creative Cloud desktop. If I double click on that, It'll probably open up with all the apps that you've got available. And what you need to do is to go down here to beta apps. Uh, once you've clicked on that, you'll see all the apps that are in beta. And all you do, you pick the Photoshop one, you download it, you install it, and then you click the open button and you'll be ready to go. All you need to do is now go and find your Adobe Photoshop beta version, click on it to open it up. Just wait a second, this is the Adobe Photoshop beta. And when it opens up, you're ready to rock. There we go. You'll notice it doesn't look an, any different really, but there are some, some additions to it. Now, if I just go and, let's say, open an image up, I'll open this one up again. Uh, now what you'll find is that if you go into the repair tools, the spot healing brush, remove tool, the healing brush, the patch tool, content to wear move and red eye, you've actually got the remove tool now. Now, if it isn't there, it may be in the extra tools section. So if you go down to these three little dots here, and you click on them, and you edit your toolbar, what you'll find is that your, if I just scroll down to show you, we've got the remove tool in here. Well, the remove tool will be in here, in your extra tools. All you've got to do is click and drag it. I'll drag it underneath the spot healing brush and then click done. And it'll be there for you to use. There it is. Right. Let's get on with showing you how to use it. Okay, well, let's try it out on this image. Um, this was a, a shot I, I got, a, a recent shot up in Roker in Sunderland. Um, and it was a particularly exciting sea day. And, and I thought that the fence wasn't really adding much. In fact, it, it was annoying me. So I thought we'll try this out with the new tool. Now, let's start. We've got the tool selected. We've got the remove tool selected. Uh, and if we look, we've got the size of the brush in the tool options bar, but we can change that with the square brackets next to the P key. Um, and we've got sample all layers and we've got remove after each stroke. Now, sample all layers, I think is really important because it allows us to work non-destructively. So I'll tick that and then I'll go and add an empty layer. And I'll call this remove. Okay. Now we've got that. 
I can make that layer active. Now, whatever I do, it's going to put it on this layer. So it's going to work totally non-destructively. It's not going to harm the original layer at all, which is pretty cool. Now, remove after each stroke. This is where you, you just want to do things in, in little pieces. So you may want to do a little bit here and then a little bit here and then a little bit here. So if you don't have this ticked, it will let you do all your workings and then when you click the tick or you press enter on the keyboard it will then do all the magic for you in one go. Okay. Right, well we'll have remove after each stroke. Doesn't really make any difference on the way I'm going to do it anyway but I could do this in three pieces if I wanted. But what I'll do is I'll, I'll find it works quite well with a brush a little bit bigger if you've got a big something big and chunky like this to remove. So I'm going to click and drag and you'll see putting an overlay down. I'll go over the post and I'll go this way and then I'll let go and let it do its magic. Boom. And I don't think that's bad. OK, like I said, it's not perfect and here we've got some some little bits of, of weirdness going on so i'm just going to use the tool again and say come on you can do a better job on that part there and that's pretty cool we'll do a little bit there just give it a sec to think what it's doing and i don't think that's bad i mean you could keep going on and wherever you've got anything that's a little bit iffy just click and drag across it and, and it's now filling in with pixels that probably weren't there before and so it gives you a, a lot more flexibility. So have a look at that. I think that's pretty good and if we now look at what we've removed I think that's done a pretty good job. Yep still got a little bit of weirdness going on so we can do a couple of more clicks and I think that's pretty magnificent. OK, let's try it out on a little bit of a tougher job. OK, here we've got it's a very, very busy background. Let's start off with something easy. Let's try and get rid of this traffic cone. We just click and drag around it. And it's gone. Look at that. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm impressed to start with. Ooh, what about this pile of dirt here? Let's see what it does with that. Oh, that's, that is pretty good. OK, we've got another bit here. Let's just click and drag along there a bit. That's amazing. OK, let's try something now. Look, look at this car. We've got a road sign that goes cuts it in half. OK, so let's go around the road sign and down the sign. There's a little bit of weirdness at the bottom. And let go. Wow. Look at that, it's, it's rebuilt the side of the car. Oh, OK. Let's try this sign here. We've got this sign with a couple just behind it, or half a couple. We'll go down to the bottom. Oh, that is pretty good. And we'll get rid of this dirt. And then we'll come along, get rid of that shadow. Let's try, oh, what about this boat? We've got a light in front of the boat. OK, let's go down to the light, bit at the bottom. Boom, rebuilt the side of the boat. Pretty good. Let's try this one. Down to there. Boom, gone. OK, got a little bit of a shadow. Let's get rid of that. Uh, you know, I am just finding this tool pretty amazing. We've got some little bit of weirdness there. We'll get rid of that. Got a couple of little bits of weirdness going off in the water here. Let's get rid of them. Yeah, I like that. Uh, whatever this guy's doing here, I think he's a scuba diver or something. Get rid of him. You know, this, oh, another road sign, another road sign. It gets addictive, this. Okay, I'll come down and we'll see if we can get rid of that. Perfect, perfect. I am so impressed with this tool. OK, final example. Um, I was really impressed with this, how it handles like a, a blurry background or, or a depth of feel. So here I really like this, let's say this twig, really like that with a frost on the little frosticles. 
but this boat in the background's getting a bit distracting. So let's try and get rid of it. Um, this time, what I'll do is I'll, I'll have remove after each stroke not ticked. So what it'll let me do is do this in, say, two pits if I want. So again, I'm going to crane down there like that and I'm going to stop just there and it just leaves it where it is and then I'm going to come underneath and come from underneath and go all the way around there fill it in let go just stays where it is and then I can go and click the tick or I can press the enter on the keyboard and just wait for the magic Boom. Done. Dusted. That is incredible. Well, that's it for this video. I do hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up or even better, leave a comment for me. Thumbs up and comments are really important in helping me drive forward my channel. So your help with this would be really appreciated. If you want more free videos on Photoshop and Lightroom, well, why not visit my brand new updated website, kenfisherphotography.com. Just go to the training menu section and select what you want to learn. And here we've got essential skills. I've got creative, I've got camera raw, and I've got bridge. Uh, and this will be updated and extended as the weeks go by. Okay, I'll see you in the very next video. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ken Fisher. Bye for now.